Alright everyone, I've heard some crazy ideas floating around from this, well let's say different outer code, such as keto being poisoned and such. So in today's review, let me set things straight so we can all take a deep breath and just enjoy this outer code for what it truly is. What's up YouTube? LucasTV719 here, giving you my review on Inazuma 11 Outer Code Episode 5. Now we knew this episode of Outer Code was named K's Table due to the hint we got last month, and we've been speculating who this K was, be it Kabeyama, Kurimatsu, or someone we didn't think of. However, the K in question was actually Kido, and this episode was mainly just him eating with his father. Odd, since we know Kido's role in Odd is, he's part of Seisho Gakuen. But, in actuality, you could say Kido wasn't the real star in this episode, but rather his butler, Hakamada, was the focus. Okay, in all seriousness, this episode of Outer Code was truly just one for laughs. From the Food Wars-esque reactions from Kido, to the likeness of Kido screaming Hakamada's name like he did for Kageyama in the past, See that comparison? This was just a fun episode. The mind games that Kido and Hakamata also had sort of resembled some of the strategies that Kido would think of during matches back in the original Inazuma. Add in the difference between Kido's dinner and Kurimatsu's, which made a quick appearance at the end, this wasn't really an episode to take too seriously. By the way, why does everyone in Kurimatsu's family look so much like each other? I mean, look at Kido and Haruna, they're siblings and they look nothing alike. It makes you start to wonder whether the Inazuma world follows the laws of genetics or not. Anyway, if you consider that they showed off Inazuma 11 every day plus right afterwards, you can consider this episode as kind of a segue to that, as it was mainly introducing Hakamata since he'll be in the game when you play through Kido's story of course. While the addition of subs might add some insight to what is truly going on here, the fact of the matter was this episode was mainly just there to enjoy and not to try to deep diving deep and search for some new info. I mean, if you really want something, I guess you can talk about how Kido told his father he wasn't returning to Daikaku and that Haruna's uniform definitely wasn't from Raimon, so the managers probably got reinforcement committeed as well. Maybe she'll be in Seishogakuen with Kido. Will she actually play since girls are actually playing in this season? Who knows? Anyway, if you're still having doubts, rewatch the episode, I got it up on my channel. Just this time, watch it knowing that it's a fun episode and there's no need to overanalyze it. That's what's probably coming up during the next Outer Code, which we'll have to wait till August for. So, let's close it out the way I always do, with a Teppan Ed Dash-like ending song. This time, with a really creepy lullaby-like tune. It's kind of creepy, but it's still in a lullaby-like format. So, I'm going to play it until it closes out. Until next time, I'm LucasTV719. I'll see you all later.